Hello and welcome back to more Final Fantasy XII videos while I shuffle around in my chair. Uh, it's the first thing I've recorded since uh, losing my power for I think like 80 hours or something. But anyway, uh, I've forgotten if there was something I was specifically supposed to do. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go ahead and start the Hunt Club side quest. Uh, I believe this is accessible first uh, after reaching Arcades in the story. So you'd have to come back to the Fawn Coast. That's where this is. There you go. Uh, you'd have to come back to the Fawn Coast to start the side quest. I would recommend not doing that. Um, because once you start this side quest, uh, rare hunts will spawn. Uh, they will not spawn until this side quest is started. I should specify. Uh, trophy rare hunts, not regular rare hunts. There's uh, rare game, rare hunts in this game that just have usually a, a percentage chance to spawn, but some of them have uh, more complicated requirements to spawn. Uh, but there are also 31 trophy rare game. These will not respawn, and they will not spawn until you pick up this quest. Uh, many of those, again, have a percentage chance to spawn. Some of them have more complicated requirements, but if you pick up this quest while you're going through the story, there's a fairly decent chance that you'll come against a trophy rare game while going through the story, which can make it either very difficult or basically impossible to do anything in the area that the rare hunt is in, so bear that in mind. But anyway, this is where you pick it up, Fawn Coast, teleport crystals right over there. Uh, you will talk to this bonga, who is surrounded by a suspicious, suspicious bonga. So, like I said, there's 31 trophy hunts in this game. Uh, one of them is forced upon you. In order to accept the quest, it must be killed. So effectively, as far as this quest is concerned, there are 30. Thalassanon can only be spotted from a good elevation. Even if you don't see him at first, you pick your spot and you keep looking. So that is your hunt. This is the only trophy game that you will get a hunt for. And I will, uh, once we come back, I will further explain. Actually, on the way there, we'll explain. Uh, so first off, in order to spawn this, they told you. It can only be seen from a high elevation. There is only one point of elevation within this zone, which is the Vadu Strand. We've been to it, it's that little thing over there. Separate pathway. Uh, you have to go over there, and then upon reaching that area, you must wait there for approximately 10 seconds, and it will spawn the, uh, the hunt for you down below. So then you just run around and go attack it. Now, the way this, this quest works... Please stop trying to buff me. It'll never work. The way this quest works is that every time you kill a trophy hunt, you get a trophy. Obviously, that's what they're named after. Um, you then take those trophies back to one of the three bonga out front of where we started this side quest. Depending on how many trophies each of these bonga get, you will get a reward at the end, but you will also gain access to specific items available in a shop, depending on how many that you gave them. There are only 30. It's not possible. There it is, by the way. It's not possible to unlock every item within that shop because there are only 30 to give and many more than that to unlock everything. Uh, in the description of this video, I'll have a list of uh, or a link to a list, depending on it's kind of long, so we'll see. But uh, either way, I'll have a, a list uh, somewhere in the description that will show you what all you can get for giving things to uh, these bunga, bunga, bunga. These don't cast reflect, that's rude. So uh, trophy rare hunts are generally very difficult. This one is only like level 40 and we're uh, level 76, so it's not going to pose difficulty. But generally speaking, trophy hunts are much more difficult enemies. So be wary when fighting them, if you are fighting them at level appropriate times. In the description of the video uh, for the hunt, 
Actually, let's go over how I'm going to lay this out. At the moment, I'm thinking I'm going to have each of these trophy hunts within their own little video. So there's going to be a lot of relatively short videos. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stick with that. Um, I might mix it up and uh, combine several hunts that only have a simple requirement of just you know, a percentage chance to spawn. Uh, I might combine several of those into, into one video, but not sure. But either way, in the video for this specific hunt, I will have the level that it is, uh, what's required to spawn it, etc, etc. Uh, any important information if it's a relatively in a complex enemy or anything like that, but for the most part, just a level and what's required to spawn it so that you know what level it is you should probably fight it at. So we'll have a word with the three bengas, which all have different names, obviously. You have to find them and bring them down before you know they're rare for sure. If they drop a trophy when they fall, congratulations! You failed yourself a rare game. So attack is, curiously, the uh, weapons. So if you give him stuff, he'll unlock weapons depending on how many you give. We can say, I'm not ready, so we can talk to the other ones here. Now, attack is weapons. We also have stock and block. Try and figure out what they give before we actually get there. Yeah, rare game that have mutated, blah, blah, blah. They all say the same thing roughly, except for what they give. So he says here, we'll put things in the alligator. Give them to me, and I'll stuck up on protectives. Who could have possibly guessed? Once again, I'll say we're not ready, just so we can have the dialogue from stock over here. Usual marks, blah, blah, blah. And he'll stock up on sundries. Which, uh... Includes, I think, uh, just miscellaneous accessories and stuff like that, but... Um, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't actually matter which of these three you talk to, and which of these three you tell you are ready. It only matters which of these three you then bring the trophies to. So we can then talk to him. Of course, told nothing, uh, or we've given nothing to any of them, so that was the thing that just popped up there. I said a bunch of zeros. So we can learn about the Hunt Club, which we already know about. We can also learn about Rare Game. And he tells us nothing of use. So that will then commence the rare uh, trophy hunt club thingamading side quest. At this point, 30 uh, rare game now have a chance to spawn or be spawned if their other requirements are met. The other 49 rare game will always spawn. They are not attached to the trophy side quest. They do not drop trophies. Uh, these videos for the hunt side quest will be in a separate playlist because there's probably going to be a fair number of them depending on how I have this set up, but it'll be a separate playlist so you can easily find all the, the stuff you need and just search through the playlist for a specific one because their name will be in the title. Um, so yeah, that'll be it for this video. Um, all of the future videos about this stuff may or may not be commentated, I'm not actually sure, but thanks for watching for now and I'll see you next time.